Hello, I am Ted from Ted's Garden. Thank you for watching. If you stick with me to the very end, I will reveal a very special secret to growing really tasty potatoes. Let me walk you through how to grow hundreds of pounds of potatoes in the most efficient and easiest way. Let me explain how to do it so you can too. This episode is a simple garden hack anyone can do. It's not hard, it just takes a little effort. It requires no pulling weeds, tilling the ground, or building raised planter beds. Of course you can plant in the ground, or a raised bed, and you'll have some potatoes to harvest at the end of the season. But if you want a larger yield of quality potatoes, without the pest problem, then stick around because I'm going to share with you all my tips, from sowing right through to harvesting. Okay, let's start right at the beginning with the sprouting of potatoes. The jury is still out on whether sprouting makes any difference, but I always allow sprouting for a number of benefits, even if there may be no real growth benefit. Here's what to do to help create a large amount of potatoes. First, I recommend sprouting. Main reason, seed potatoes are usually sent out from the suppliers in early January. The issue with this is if you live in colder climates, you cannot plant potatoes during the cold frosty dates. By sprouting them, you are allowing them to basically stay in good shape, but the key is not to allow the spindly shoots. You don't want that. The benefit of sprouting potatoes allows you to see how many sprouts form on the potato, allowing you to control the size of the potatoes a bit more. Many people get sprouting wrong, they tend to put them in dark areas, and they end up with those long spindly shoots, which is not good. When you're sprouting potatoes, what you want to do is put them in a bright, cool, frost-free place. The brighter, the better. You'll get short, stumpy roots. Consequently, focusing the potato's energy for better top growth when the time comes. Now it is also important to note if you are not using organic potatoes you will need to wash and scrub them good to get the chemical anti-sprouting spray off of them before placing them to sprout. Here is where I steer you towards larger yields and simplifying your potato planting. I recommend not growing them in the ground to get the larger yields with less effort. Several years ago, I was looking for alternatives to growing potatoes in the ground because of pest issues. Things like wireworms which destroy crops and the potatoes that weren't destroyed. I could put a fork through them when I was harvesting them. I was looking for alternatives and that's when I came across 8 to 10 gallon poly containers. I started growing them in the 8 gallon containers, which sorted out the two main issues I had when growing potatoes directly in the ground. Over the years I've perfected how I grew them in these containers, so herein lies the secret to the huge harvest with less effort. First step is making sure your containers have drain holes and partly fill container with a well-draining potting mix. It's essential to use a high-quality potting mix, which provides good aeration and drainage for the potatoes to grow successfully in. Look for a mix specifically formulated for container or raised bed gardening, and avoid using regular garden soil as it can become compacted and hinder root growth in the confined space of a container. Step 2. At planting time, decide whether you want smaller potatoes or larger jacket-style potatoes. If you want larger potatoes, remove all the sprouts except for two, but don't just break them off, dig them out with a knife. This will only allow two sprouts to grow on the potato. It will also reduce the number of potatoes the plant will grow, using its energy to grow those container potatoes much bigger. Step 3. Fill the container to one-third its depth and mix in some slow-release fertilizer. I recommend bloodfish and bone meal. If it is allowable, if not, just use something which has a lower amount of nitrogen and higher potassium or phosphorus. Most fertilizers will display NPK on the package, which tells you how much nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus is in the mix. You want a low number next to the N and higher numbers next to the P and the K. Step 4. Place the potatoes opposite each other with eyes facing up and cover until they are covered with soil. Here you need to decide on what varieties you're growing. If it's a determinate or early potato, then we can use four seed potatoes in this pot. If they're indeterminate or main crop, then we will use just two. Additionally, if they are main crop potato, mix some added feed in this layer, then fill the container to about two inches from the top with compost. If they're determined, you can place another two potatoes opposite the two below, then fill the container as before and add some additional fertilizer into this top layer. Note, you can fill the container right to the top at planting time. I found a two inch layer of mulch is a good idea because it helps to keep water in the compost Stopping evaporation from rain or any overwatering you give them, it is held in the mulch layer, which slowly wicks into the compost as the compost dries out. As potatoes grow, sometimes they push up through the soil. A thick mulch layer may stop them. Hang on. You told us this is the easiest way you know how. 
I know it sounds a little bit involved, but when you think about it, you're putting some potatoes in a container filled with soil not having to do the back-breaking in-ground cultivation, allowing anybody to grow potatoes. Whether you have a large or small garden space, or you live in an apartment building because everybody will have a space for a small bucket of potatoes. Additionally, this is so good utilizing this method is you can kickstart on the season. With the container method, you can plant your potatoes in a containers before the last frost, and you can keep them mildly warm, which allows the potatoes to grow. Then as soon as the last frost is gone, you can put them out into their growing space, giving loads of benefits. Now I would recommend a support system like a trellis or tomato wire. I used to just plant the potatoes in the containers, let them grow, leaving the vines to grow over the container and sprawl all over, making it difficult to get past them when watering. But more importantly, the sun bakes the tops of the containers and it dries the soil out much quicker. By staking the vines above the container creates sort of a sunshade, still giving the plants the light they need while also shading the soil. There you have it, a step-by-step -step method to growing 150 pounds of potatoes. Now here is my special secret as promised. I use algae plus organic plant food. It not only feeds the soil, but provides exceptional nutrients to your potatoes. You can buy algae plus at https algae plus.us. I would love to hear from you in the comments section below.